Y'all, let's watch this. Hell yeah. Starting off strong. Tell me you didn't have that thought. Oh my god. Was this plugged in? Yeah. Thank god. Oh my god. Holy shit. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Why do they put that in there? <laughs> oh, somebody hit him from behind. Fuck! What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Holy shit, bro! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. With freshly roasted, award winning 100% Arabica beans right here in Australia. Oh shit. Perfect blend to make you a deliciously convenient coffee. And for a limited time, get a free travel mug with any Pie Face Barista coffee purchase. Dude. <laughs> okay, dude. All right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, okay. Now, it's this guy's fault, okay? All right, it's this guy's fault. It's this guy's fault, but I fucking hate it when people like this purposely speed up so that you can't get around them. I fucking hate that, and it happens all the time. Like, watch. Right, right when this guy sees that he's trying to get around him, he sped up. Look, look, look at, look at, look, dude, look, man. You can tell by the way the cars are. Look at that shit. I, okay, now, now, again, again, it's still this guy's fault, 100%. But I hate it when fucking assholes like this, for some reason, they, they take it upon themselves. No, you will not go above the speed limit. Like, dude, just fuck, like, dude, if you're not, if you're going this speed, get in the other lane, man. Like, get in the other lane. No one is stopping you from going faster, right? Like, no, like, but, but if you're not going to go fast, get the fuck out of the fast lane, man. You know, that's it. So, like, it's this guy's fault, but, ooh, I fucking hate it when people do this, man. He did that on purpose. He, he fucking did that on purpose. He sped up just enough to hit that guy in the ass, dude. I fucking hate it when people do that, man. Dude, this guy's crazy.
fuck? Bro. That's so stupid, dude. What? <laughs> okay. Yo, Natarashi, thank you for the resub. And Doug, thank you as well. Backing up, not looking. Boop. something to say about this too right here obviously this guy's doing something stupid but this driver this driver is also doing something stupid and you know what they're doing they're gonna drive next to the stupid guy when you're driving if you see someone doing something stupid you you stay the fuck away from them okay you stay the fuck away all right or alternatively you could just get in the other fucking lane why would this driver stay in this lane? I don't understand. Well, you could just get over. Like, I understand. Okay, now I understand they turn there, right? Then in that case, you should slow down and let the stupid person do whatever the fuck it is that they're doing and then, and then go. Me, dude, I watch these and I'm just like, there ain't no way. I do not like driving next to people. Being a trucker has taught me so much, man. You can be the best driver in the world, but you have no control, none, over another person's actions. Did you poop in the truck? What kind of question is that? No, I don't poop in the truck. Why would you ask me that? Did I poop in the truck? What the fuck? Well, well. No, I didn't poop in the truck. What's this one? Bro. That is one of the stupidest. Oh, I know what they were doing. No, no, no. I know what they were doing. I bet I know what they were doing. Okay. No, 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 no. I bet you this person they saw that there was a traffic jam up here, so they're trying to back up and go this way instead. I bet you that's what they're trying to do. Or they just missed their turn, yeah, or whatever. Unbelievable. Nope, let me tell you something else I do. In this situation here, in this situation right here, the first thing I do, look to my right. I see if there's anybody over here. The next thing I do, if there's no one else over here, I get the fuck over. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's this guy's fault. This guy right here clearly didn't look. And one thing that I notice a lot of people not do, people never use the middle lane. So like, if you look, Look, there's like there's like a there's like a middle lane right here. Like there's another turn lane. You could stay in the turn lane for a little bit before you merge. See, look. See, look at this turn lane right here. You can actually stay in this turn lane a little bit before you merge over. What? Bro, that was Virgil's chair. That was Virgil's chair.
Dude. I've never, okay. Now, I've never driven like a motorcycle, but if I was to drive a motorcycle, I, I would try to be as safe as fucking humanly possible because you know what happens when you get in a wreck on a motorcycle? You die. There's no car to take the impact. You know what takes the impact? Your body. You know what's more powerful than your body? A car. Oh my god. Oh shit. That was so close. See, man, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This guy could be the best driver in the world, but you can't stop another person from just running a light. <clears throat> you know what I mean? You just can't. Oh, shit. Fucking rip. Bro. What? Is that a fucking cow, bro? Or a bull? That's a bull. I like how this isn't even a video. It's just a picture. I'm like, at the same time, I'm extremely impressed. But also, I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? Oh, that's pretty. Oh God, oh God, oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. Guess we're gonna let that guy go. Around 10 a.m., the Norfolk Police Division responded to a call of a man driving eastbound on 275 with a Watusi bull in his passenger seat. Uh, well, uh, the officers received a call reference a car driving into town that had a, a cow in it. Um, they thought that it was going to be, you know, like a calf, so in it. Ugh. Dude, what is this? Is that shit? <laughs> is this shit, dude? <laughs> um, they thought that it was going to be, you know, like a calf, something smaller, something that actually fit inside the vehicle and the vehicle was big enough well technically as a result the, the officer performed a traffic stop and addressed some traffic violations that were occurring uh, with that particular <laughs> uh, situation <laughs> the occupant of the vehicle was identified as lee meyer of neely the watusi bull's name was howdy duty howdy duty pulled over by norfolk police and they performed a routine traffic stop the officer wrote him some warnings. Um, there were some citable issues with that situation. <laughs> the officer chose to write him a warning and ask. Boy and dog. Him to take the animal back home and, and to leave the city. Meyer and Howdy Duty are on their way back home and no one was hurt. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top. Oh, good. That was good.